When I first went to Egypt with John Anthony West in 1990, I would prove him wrong of his assertions that maybe the Sphinx was older, and all of that changed. Now that I saw it, the Sphinx enclosure itself, where you see the rolling, undulating profile, the erosional features, the vertical fissures, this was not desert erosion and weathering. That can only be caused by precipitation. The water finds its way down crevices and cracks, and it forms these vertical fissures. They say couldn't it be rising Nile floods? No. Geologically, that would give a very different signature. Based on evidence, at 9700 BC, we have the end of the Younger Dryas. The ending, the last ice age, was a huge eruption from the sun, a huge solar outburst, huge climatic changes, which put a lot of moisture into the air, which came down as precipitation with huge floods. I think a lot of the initial erosion that we still see on the Sphinx goes back that time period. 